Dragonfly. No. Frog. No. Turtle. No. Iguana. No. Snake. I wish it was a snake. Fury lizard. It's a fear dragon. No, I don't have fear dragon, but they're lizards. You know, five, you know, like your house. Yeah, I got a fourth period you in, like any in school. My teacher gave me a, a container to keep them. Most of our time trying to get lizards out of the house. We have baby cows at school. Huh? In uh, yeah. your school? No, 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 like out back. Which school do you go to? Wadsworth. I'm at Buddy Taylor. Yeah. I'm going there. I, I quit my. I'm going there. That one's no, all more fun. Cows. We're getting piglets too. Are you taking, uh, what do they call it, agricultural science? Or yeah, I'm taking that. Uh, I'm taking agricultural science. Oh, I want to do that class. Okay, I'm putting I'm putting my school in that school. Oh, look, they're so cute. I can, we, we can bottle feed them. Wait, do they take eighth graders? What? They take eighth graders. This is what I imagine agricultural science is today. It's, it's not elementary school. You say, the cow says, no. Right, the duck says, Quack. Okay, you get an A. What does the fox really? say? That's agricultural sciences, right? No. What does Chickens the fox say? Eggs. eggs. Right. What does the fox no, make? No, the paper's like, um, what's a mature male cow called? You write, write a paper on that? No, we have questions. I thought they were just called no, cows. No, I'm trying to answer questions. I'm a like, what's a, what's a mature rabbit, mature male rabbit called? Rabbit. It's called a buck. Mr. <laughs> and this is funny. This is confusing. <laughs> this is confusing. It was confusing. All right, what's an immature rabbit called? Um, it's not a thing. Cattle. Cattle. Ooh. I'm having one of your house. Lizards. Cattle. Mm -hmm. Alright. Cattle. You want to talk about my dad's house? Do you have a house? Immature rabbit? Yeah. Three cattle. Oh, my dad's cow. It's a tarantula. Immature. Immature cow is a cow. And six cats. Oh. Well, what's cattle? No, it's, it's not a called immature. It's called, it's called a young. Baby. Newborn. So what if it's not newborn? But it's not fully grown yet. Not young. Fully it's called young. 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 All right. Young. Young. You're such the expert in yeah. Farm science. Are you gonna run a farm? What? Are you gonna run a farm? No. What the chicken say? Cock cock cock. Wait no. They say cock cock. There you go. Like what? <laughs> I can't stump you. I just can't do it. <laughs> what does the fox make? <laughs> We're not letting out foxes. We're, this is on the farm. We're yeah. on the farm. We're yeah. down in the oh. woods. Horses say nay. Thank you. Nay. <laughs> what does a sheep make? Bye. <laughs> you can get a toy at the, the store that does that. You pull the string. <laughs> <laughs> Tells you the sound. All right, Chandler, you ready to pray? Um, give me a minute. You see the letters up there? That's yes. exactly all parts right there. You can do it. You can do this. I have a good feeling. A really good feeling. Oh, we have a quiz. Yes, two quizzes. Flip it, flip it, flip it. I'm going to win this time. I'm prepared. Close up. You studied like all night. That's why you look so sleepy. It's an all night studying this stuff. Yeah. All right. Okay. You ready? I got it. Here we go. We're praying. Dear God, you are amazing. I'm sorry for bragging about my test score to Landon. <laughs> Think, uh,. Thank you for helping me getting a good test score. Uh, please watch over Tyler. Amen. What? How do you know the prayer? Oh, I forgot. Oh, wait, in Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you. My brain, it was not working. My brain, oh, someone else is here. All right, you have a paper, it says quiz number one on one side. Woo! Get that one out, we're gonna do that. Yeah, really? A quiz. Quiz number one. Now. Oh no, I'm gonna fail. What's the What's the first what commandment, Landon? Huh? What's the first commandment? You should put it on the wall. Hello, we're doing quiz. Oh. What's the first commandment? Oh Ava, no. You named Stop. it. Stop. Woohoo! Just in time. <laughs> we're taking the first quiz right now. What's the first commandment? Anybody? Me? You yeah. still have no other gods. No other gods. So there's only one god. We'll put that on there. I'll say you got it, Chandler. I can do that one. Don't say the Lord's name in vain. Yes, don't misuse the Lord's name. Oh, no, God's name. Yeah. And Landon, third commandment? She just told you. <laughs> I just told you. I can't hear that far. Remember the seventh day, but keep it holy. 
I, I did number four, though. Okay, we'll do number four later, but not that right now. Four is, not, is what we're going to today. Repent. Remember Jesus. Oh, my God. Uh, Sacrament. There. Sabbath day. Sabbath day. Sabbath day. day. I did Sabbath. Three I did Sabbath. Sabbath. I did Sabbath. God's word. Okay. So on the quiz. Okay, do a line. That's what we do a lot of reviewing. But beside each line, write a number of the commandment, one, two, or three, that applies to that sentence. Okay? Yeah. No, wait. It says quiz number one at the top of the page. Yeah. Landon, you see it? Yeah. Quiz number one? Okay. Quiz number two we'll do later. There's prizes, too. There's new prizes in the prize box. What's this first one? <coughs> what? The first one question. I'm not going to take that around. <laughs> you want to do well because prizes include a really little, a bag of mini people, <laughs> a fake croissant. Yo, I need oh. that. I need that. There are you stole my belt for me. little bitty umbrellas. <gasps> Yo, I also so need that cool. one. I need yeah. that one. A whole bunch of different stampers. Oh, I need that one too. As well as an orca, a, uh, a, shark. a shark, a hammerhead shark, a Thor, Iron Man, and Salt. Yeah. And <laughs> a jalopy. Oh, a jalopy? A jalopy cart. Oh. oh. Anyway. I love those mini umbrellas. My skeleton needs a friend, so I gotta win in print. But prizes for the first two places. Oh. The first place and the second place. Oof. It's tough. I know. Third place. But how you feeling, Ava? What? How you feeling? Better? Yeah. Yes, good. You should have paid for Ava in your opening. Oh, I, I didn't know. Do you start? Do you start? Please start now. You're confusing me. Chandler, you're, uh, you can't vibrate the table so much. It moves my camera. I'm sorry. I'll try to move it up here. That is going to be like zoomed into your You're right. This, this table seems a little bit calmer today, for the time being. See if we can, there's the board, okay. If anybody's watching, now you can see it again. This is what I'm feeding them. To. So, oh. all I did write down is one, two, and three. Yes, if, I think, what if you write any other number but one, two, or three, it's automatically wrong. Oh, okay. Because I only want the first three commands. Alright? So any part of that you don't understand. Either a one, a two, or a three. Can we guess? Alright, I guess. Of that course you can guess. Oh yeah, right. I know guess. You have a 33% chance of a very pure guess being right. Well, it's better than a 0% chance. Or what you do is eliminate the one you know it's not, and you have a 50-50 chance. Oh. Yo, you're so right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you wish you could do that. Keep doing that. No. Yes. You like that? Okay. You should, you should, you should like randomly do it. What? You should randomly do it. That was going to be a lot of stuff. Yes. I'm actually doing really good right now, I think. Oh, Oops. I like pineapples. A pineapple? That's so odd. No, like, yeah. no, it's random. Like, I don't have those two. You guys are not good at this at all. It's a really quiz. I'll try it again later. Why'd you draw a pineapple? Oh. Look at business. Like, I'm not allowed to tell you. Why? Because, because we're taking a quiz. Yo, here, wait, oh. we're taking a quiz. Let me focus. focus. I have to focus on one, two, or third command. Okay? This is very confusing. This is hard. It's not confusing. It we is for about me. all this stuff. Yeah, oh they did, but like, I can't concentrate when you talk. Some of this is just a little. Going into space and coming back alive. That's hard. This is easy. No, I'm just telling you. <laughs> algebra is hard. Yeah, I think I'm easy. Well, algebra is easy. I'm taking it right now. I have it. Me too. How? You're so great. Yeah, I'm taking it. You're not the algebra? You can take algebra as early as seventh grade, obviously. Yeah. Which is really hard. Well, not that you have to take algebra. You don't have to because 
Even if you start algebra in ninth grade, you'll still make calculus by the time you're seeing it. Ooh, I'm doing really good right now. I can feel it. Oh, no. That makes I can't even see oh, that far. That's a tiny Where are you? Where are your glasses? No, no, those tricks. No, no, those tricks. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, I Only for technology? Yeah. Okay. Like, I just don't want to, I didn't go on my computer too much, so now I'm sorry. Oh, oh, for ice cream, like blue, yeah. blue, lettuce, whatever. Okay. Like, hey, you guys done? Almost done? Eight is no, almost done. Wait! I need two more. Oh, oh, I finished. Um, I'm, I'm, not very, I'm not very confident in my answers. 30 but seconds. We're going to turn them in. Uh, we have 30 seconds? 30 seconds, yes. <laughs> well, 30 I, seconds. I know the ones that I know it is. Comes, um, sheer. First three commandment delight. Uh -huh. Well, if I stand two, that means I can have a three. This one I think. Wait. No. Wait. Wow. Fifteen seconds. Can I find out for This is this. Oh. There's this one question that's really confusing. Oh, okay, it's the very first one. You had a one, two, or a three there. Oh wait, no. Oh, it's gonna be the same thing. Let your yes be yes and your no no. So I already. Uh, this you talking about the simply let your yes be yes and your no no. That's the confusing one. Yeah, I mean, it could be That's so confusing. That's the one I'm stuck on. That's not confusing. I got that one's easy. All right, time's up. He's on the stage. Everybody, pass your paper, one person to the right. And then you're going to mark that. I don't got it. Wait, I just marked everything right on that one. It's OK. Ava's going to mark your paper. Huh? Why? You Wait. pass yours to Michaela. Wait. Everybody pass your hand. I mean, you got here's mine. Okay. You got the one with the wall, oh, wall. of red. Right. 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 Mine looks good. You're, you're, you're Wait, where's mine? How do you write your two like I'm on grade. Ava. Okay. 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 Okay
Fear God. Fear God and trust God above all things. Go to two. Two. Hell. Oh, that's right. Hell. I got a right. That's a curse. No cursing. I do curse. Give thanks oh. to the Lord for He is good. One. Two. One. That's two. two. That's actually two. Oh, you got it wrong. Yay! I got a right. Thank you. She did really good. Seven Thank you. Out of just write the Shoot. number correct at the top of the page and hand it back. One, two, three. If you want to get down the list, here they are. Three, three, one, 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 two, 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 two three, three, one, two, two. There's 13 questions, right? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We got a tie. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. She's tied. Seven, seven out of thirteen. She's so well, we're tied. We're all tied. Seven, seven, seven. Write down the number and pass it down. No, they haven't they have said theirs. Here you go. Remember, second commandment was call upon him in every trouble, play praise again. That's that one. No, he so, lost yours. Wait, everyone got seven out of thirteen? Yeah. Wait, Give the papers wait, back to their rightful owner. We only got tied. Wait, you got seven? I got seven. I got, got seven. seven. You got seven? She got seven. Seven. How many did you get right, Ava? Keep up with it, and I don't know if I. Okay, I'll go, let me go back through them again. Just copy down the list. Oh. Three, three, one, 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 two, oh, two, 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 three, three, one, two, two. I have seven. <laughs> there has to be a bonus question. So we all got seven. Over here. And you got a seven. How many she get right? The checks right or wrong? It's right. Okay, checks are right. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. You got five right, Ava. Oh. All right. Bonus. So I guess we have to. We need a tiebreaker. All four of them. Okay. Because somebody has to have first choice. Me. I don't care. Okay. Okay. Like what? Was like a second choice? What? Was like a second choice? Like a bizwax. Oh well, let's make the tiebreaker question easy. Now write no. this like at the bottom of the page. Mm -hmm. Write this down in one word. What is the fourth commandment about? One word. Oh. All right, done. Okay. Okay. Wait, one, only one word. No. Only, only one word. One word. Wait. <laughs> you, okay. Wait, write down one wait, word for what the fourth commandment is about. Again. No, you can't look. Well, you said I got it wrong anyway, so what's the point? Let me see what you wrote. It makes sense, but it doesn't... No. No, 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 I said obey. I put yeah. all of them. Not your mother and your father. It's about parents and authority. Oh, so. Wow. So we go do we have second choice then? Wow. I didn't all right. know. No, you get first choice. You guys still get a prize. Yeah, we get second really choice. You can still get first choice. Wait, wait. Rock, uh, Wait, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? All day. Where are you? Where are you? No! I saw a look at that. Sorry. Do not take Jesus that shark. Jesus is my jam. You can have the shark. That's a good one. I want the shark. You can have it. I want the bigger shark. You can have it. The musical notes. Okay. Uh, let's see. A lot, a lot of musical notes. A lot of stars. A couple. Jesus is my jam. No. There's a. a I think the first one was squishy. No. Take the umbrellas. You got the umbrellas? No. Oh, no. The umbrellas? no right. That's um. Oh, Car. Who won the? Car. Oh, you won? Okay. Me? Okay. Go ahead and take it. You, guys, you, you want to rock? Izzy, come on. Take a prize. Oh, okay. Whoa, oh, mini umbrella. This is the best day. Okay, what do you want? Uh, Yo, it even unfolds. Sharky. I'll, I'll trade right. for people for me. What do you want, Michaela? Scully has a, a lot of good I prizes. Need, I need some umbrellas for my little lizards. Scully has a friend. It's a shark. I didn't really know my test. It opens and closes. How much? I can't believe nobody took the first one. I'll give you people. Show me the first one. Look, they can sit up here and look. There'll be another quiz later. You'll have another chance to win a prize. Are you ready to do this? We are. Okay. We're on the. We're on the main sheet for today. It says 4th and 5th commandments. 
So let's get grab your Bible and look up Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. Luke chapter 10. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And the next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper, saying, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I will repay you when I come back. Which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers? And he said, The one who showed him mercy. And Jesus said to him, You go and do likewise. So maybe you've heard that story of the Good Samaritan before. This guy gets beat up and robbed, and they leave him by the road for dead. And a priest walks by, and he doesn't do anything. A Levite, who's like another worker in the temple, he walks by and does nothing to help him. A Samaritan, they don't like to do it, but he stops and helps him, and gives him what he needs. And Jesus' point was, being a good neighbor means you help anybody who needs your help. That's what God's people do. That's what Christians do. Yeah, Pardon me? Yeah, Yes. Um, in the kitchen, the big silver uh, refrigerator, there's bottles of water on the bottom. Okay. It brings no one better not steal my umbrellas. Okay. No one better steal my, my umbrellas. Watch it. Serious work. Leave his umbrellas alone. You don't want to mess eating your people. Are you something. stealing? No. Did I steal one? He, not yet. He kindly gave one to me. Okay. So I'm going to steal them. So we're going to, the fifth, fourth commandment is about authority, and uh, fifth commandment is going to be about uh, taking care of life. So, what word is the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> you know where the kitchen is? No, I, I know where it is. I just can't find the door to it. You can't find the door to the kitchen? It's right here. Oh, it's over here. Chandler went. I said it before and nobody did anything. You drew it and I thought. Oh, but then we said it. We said it like five times. See it. Not this time, but like after. I wasn't ready. I thought you were going to say it. I did say it. And, oh, yeah. Oops. Because they said, why don't you have pineapple? And I said, oh, I'll try that. Here, do everyone want water? Do you want water? Give everybody water. If they don't want it, they can save it. Thank you for the cold water. Everybody needs cold water to wash down the camp. 
All right, so we're talking about authority in our lives, and we're talking about uh, taking care of life. So let's brainstorm. Who are the people who can tell you what to do? Who tells you what to do? My mom. Okay, mom. Dad. Dad. Police. The police. Military. Military. FBI. Yeah, oh, FBI. My President. teacher. I think. Oh, you say your brother? My teacher. Oh, your teacher? Okay. Oh. Older brother. If you have a boss. But not when I'm a little older. Oh, boss? Brother. Good. Who else can tell you what to do? Uh, God. Jesus. I, let's talk about people a doctor. in this world. Oh. Uh, Doc, okay. Doctors. Firefighters. Okay. Stop, drop, and roll. EMTs. That's crazy. <laughs> 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 Yes. That sounds weird, doesn't it? 
Did you guys dress up for Halloween? I don't know, it's a flight dog. Flight doctor. A flight doctor? Flight doctor. A flight? No, that's right. You told me that. Yeah. I forget what you told me you were going to be. A lizard. I didn't tell you. Okay. What, what did you dress up as? Anything? A bloody dress. Is it real blood or just pretend? Yeah, I don't know. It could have been real blood. Oh, nice. Where'd you get it? Where did you get a bloody dress? Um, well, it was just a white dress that I... Was this on a rack at Goodwill? No. Uh, it, was, it was a white dress, but then um, I got fake blood in it. Oh, okay. Nice. So, you're, you're just like... Okay. Spirit. No, I can't. Oh, you can't. Yeah, you're just like... Yeah, you're just like... Alright, Chandler. Hello. Romans 13, 1. Something about authority here. Alright. Let every person be subject to govern governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God. And those who exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists and authorities resist what God has appointed, and those who resist and incur judgment for rulers are not terror to good conduct. You only have to get one verse. Oh. <laughs> government. Our governing authorities. Our government is a gift from God. He puts them in place, even in a democracy or a monarchy or whatever. But they take care of us and protect us, so we do what the government says. So that's one part of the authority. Proverbs 3, 1 and 2. 1 and 2. My son, do not forget my children will let your heart keep my commandments. For the length of days and years of life and peace they will add to you. So I said, my son. That sounds like... Parent when you say that. Yeah. So you might not always like your parents. You might not always like what your parents make you do, but they have your best interest at heart. They're raising you. It's their job to take care of you. So we know what our parents say. Hebrews 13, 17. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with running for that would be no advantage to you. That particular verse is about spiritual leaders, like your pastors or maybe teachers, people who teach you about God, because they are accountable. Say, so how come, you know, did you teach Landon everything he needs to know? That's, that's what I'm accountable for. If I fail, I'm in trouble, not you, because that's my responsibility. It's your responsibility to listen, learn, Ask questions. First Peter two eighteen. For speaking uh, boasts of holy, they entice by sensual passions of the flesh those who are barely escaping from those who live in error. That doesn't sound like anything, does it? Maybe that's the wrong passage. Let's see. Yeah, you wanted First Peter two eighteen. I think you had a second Peter. Servants, be subject to your masters. Which you could apply to employees and their bosses. So when you get a job, your boss, he tells you what to do, you do what the boss says. So the Bible has a lot to say about authority. It all comes under that umbrella of the fourth commandment. So, according to the meaning of the fourth commandment, we should fear and love God so that we do not. What did it say? Um. You should always keep your book open to the page. Despise or anger our parents and other authorities. Okay, don't despise or anger your parents or other authorities, but honor them. Now there's four words here on this purple sheet. S, O, L, and C. Serve and obey. Love and cherish them. So what does it mean to serve your parents? That sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? It means to like, like, like be like respectful to them. Like listen to them and do what they say. Wouldn't that be obedience? Oh, um, sir, like, do stuff for them, like, um, Okay. Help them out, right? Do the chores. Help them out? Yeah, you're not a servant, you're not a slave, but you help out. You're part of the household, you help out. Obey them, you do what they say. How do you love your parents? 
Um, you show them kindness, respect, give them gifts. Hug them. Okay. And then let's cherish. Let me to cherish something. Like, like always love forever. them forever. Um, Isn't that love? Broken. Um, What's the difference between love and cherish? It means like to hold on to something. Cherish is like hold on to something. Okay, like cherish is when something you just, you like it so much you just want to keep it and yeah. take good care of it. Um, you know, sometimes you got to take care of your parents, right? Yeah. Because you know parents are a mess. Because they got to put up with you guys. Hey. What's that supposed to mean? You say, <laughs> they have to put up with your sisters like and I'm your brothers. Well, so they have to help Landon and Tyler. All right, so. This, this sounds really basic, but at the bottom of the page, number nine, these are important questions. So, honor your father and your mother. How do you do that if you don't agree with them? Um, just kindly walk away and say, I don't agree with you. <laughs> That's what I do. Really? Yeah. Okay. That is. So, you, you say it respectfully, I don't agree with them? No, because if I keep arguing, then I'll get in more trouble. Okay. That's. That's a really good point. If you argue with your parents, it doesn't always end well. I mean, is it, is it, is it okay to disagree with your parents? The yes. Parents. What's something you would disagree with your parents about? Water's not wet. No, no, I'm being serious. If you search up, water's not wet. It get, it's something that gets you wet. It's not wet, though. It's not surface art. Okay, help me understand why this is even a discussion in your house. Um, because of my teeth, we were talking about it in school, and she said, no, it is wet. And I think it's not. And she searched it up, even though she searched it up, and it said it isn't wet. She still said it's wet. Water is wet. No, it's not. Lane, don't Can water get wet? Like, if you have a puddle of water and you pour water on it, does the water that was in the puddle now get wet? I don't know. It's but it's something that gets you wet. Okay. It's a, it's a, yeah. Is some water wetter than other water? I don't know. <laughs> well, pineapple water. All right. What about... Uh, what else do you disagree with your parents on this of substance, not just um, hypothetical scientific questions? What? Chores. Okay. Chores. Do your parents Chores. ever ask you to do unreasonable amounts yes. of chores? Yes. Yes. Like what? Yes. Give me an example. Um, doing the litter box, doing the bathrooms, taking out the trash, doing the dishes, cleaning my room. All the, on the same day? Yeah, that, that happens a lot on like Saturdays. Okay. Or after church Sundays. Well, if you don't agree with them, you still have to do it, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. You honor them by, you can say, I don't agree, but then you go ahead and do it. Or you talk about it. Just ask them, how come I have to do so many chores? What do they say? Because I have an allowance. Oh, you get some money. Nice. What's the classic parental answer when you because say Because I said so. Yes. Yes, because, because I said so. Or because, or because I'm a parent. Yeah, because yep. I'm your mom. That's right. Trust me, someday you'll be saying that same thing to no, your No, I'm going to be a nice mom. <laughs> oh, you, you have a mean mom? What? You have a mean mom? No. no you I haven't didn't. seen a mean mom. If you think your mom's mean, you have no idea what's out there. Good. Did we these definitions? All right. How do you honor your parents if they tell you to do something you know is wrong? Like, what if your parents told you to lie about something? Uh, yeah. Don't tell your father about this. Tell him something different. Uh, and you know it's wrong to lie. So what do you do? Um, you you lie. Tell. You don't even talk lie. about it. You lie. Okay. You don't have to say anything. Okay. You lie. But what they ask? But it's know. wrong to lie, isn't it? Yeah, but what do they ask about it? But you're supposed to listen to it. But it's wrong to lie. You're going to go against God. But you're going to go against God. I'm going to go tell him so. I'm going to honor my mother and father. I'm going to go tell him. Well, what's the, okay, what's the hierarchy? Who's, if, uh, yeah, parents, it's God, God and then parents, and then you have all this other authority. I don't want to tell Here you go. You know, God is ultimately at the top. What else? Did your parents ever ask you to do something that was wrong? You don't have to give me details. Yes. Um, no. Oh, no. Good. I'm glad they did. I'm glad they did. Because they're good parents. They would good. Never. But it happens like 
they're teaching you to drive, and they say, you know, hurry up, drive faster, we gotta get there. So they want you to break the speed limit. You have to decide, how are you gonna honor your parents? Florida. I mean, I, number one, I don't want to get a ticket, and number <coughs> two, I don't want to cause an accident, so I... I'll, I'll go as fast as I can! <laughs> Alright. How do you honor your parents if you see them doing something wrong? Uh, that one's tricky. That is tricky, that is tricky, because it's supposed to serve, obey, love, and cherish them. But, let's see, what's an example of your parents doing something wrong? Stealing. My parents, parents never stole? No, my parents have never stole. Give me an example. I'm oh. sorry. I'm sorry. Are they talking about to you? <laughs> what if you see your mom yelling at Chandler for about something he didn't do? And she said, really lay it into him. Oh, lay it, lay it, lay it, lay it, lay it. What would you do, Lynn? He blames it for everything, so he probably caused it. Oh. <laughs> Is that true? No. Oh. Um, buddy. I think the respectful thing to do would be to ask them, why are you doing that? Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's not your job yeah, well, to like, be their parent, but you can ask them, why are you doing that? I mean, sometimes so you parents use so you language to, so. that is not the best, right? So you aren't supposed to stop them even though they kind of rob someone? You can, if, if you ask somebody a question, that's actually honoring that person. If you say, hey, Dad, you're not supposed to talk like that, that's borderline. If I did, I'd yeah. get in so much trouble. But it's another thing to say, why are you talking like that? That's different. I'd still get in so much trouble. Oh. You know what? Sometimes wait till later when they're not so angry, and then say, "How come you were talking like that?" Yeah, you know, wait till they're calm. I, I would I would just get told to mind my business. Same, and then I'd probably have to go to my room. Who's the more angry person at home, your mom or dad? My stepdad. Oh, your stepdad. Mom. 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 Mom's the angry one. Yeah. Okay. Dad's cool and calm and collected, and mom yeah. flies off the handle. <laughs> He's not that cool, but he still is. Okay. He, he gets angry sometimes, though. Like if we do our chores wrong. It's quiet. Okay. It's awkward. Okay. How do you honor your parents when you're an adult? The same way you honor them when you're a child. But when you're an adult, do you have to do what your parents say? No. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, said things. you're 25 years old, and your mom says, Do dishes. Isabel? You need to do this. You have to do this. What do you, how do you say that and still on your parents? What do you say? Um, I would say, um, no, you can do it yourself. You're, you're an adult. That's what I would say. That's not disrespectful. How about, like, you could say, thanks for your input, I'll think about that. Yeah. I, I, you don't I, have I, to I, say I, yes or no, just say thanks. Thanks for pointing that out. I'll, I'll think about it. Yeah. I mean, think about it really dumb. I mean, not do it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So, hey, that's a really good idea. Let me think about it. I'll get back to you. Yeah. <laughs> Two days later. Yeah, that's hard. Um, you just speak to them respectfully. Uh, stay in touch with them. You know, communicate with them. Take care of them. As your parents get older and older, they're going to need you to help take care of them. Just like they spend a lot of time taking care of you. Parents don't like to admit that, but that's what happens. All right. Questions about the fourth commandment. What is the fourth commandment, Landon? Honor your mother and father. Yes! That's awesome. Do not despise or anger your parents or other authorities, but honor them, serve and obey them, love and cherish them. All right. So, fourth commandment is all about authority. What's the fifth commandment, Izzy? Good job. Specifically, it says murder. Oh, murder. But it protects life. You shall not murder. All right. Turn your. This is on the back. Oh, 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 oh. Protects life. I'm gonna win. So I gotta watch. Okay, go ahead. Can okay, we search this stuff up on our homework for definition? Can you what? Yes, you did. 
So this would be easy, right? Yeah. But there's still um, some Bible stories about these. Yeah. All you had to do was look up the definitions on the homework, right? Yeah. I knew all the definitions. All right. So. Slide. I don't know what that is. What know. is like, murder? Um, it's murder. killing someone, taking someone's life. When you intentionally, yeah, intentionally take somebody's life. Are there different kinds of murder? Yes. Um, like, like manslaughter is killing without intention. Manslaughter yeah, is not murder. Murder. What's not. the difference between first degree murder and second degree murder? I is think second degree is killing two people? No, no. It's, it's, isn't it? I like think it's like accident. Like, no, that's manslaughter. Um, yeah. Oh. Isn't it like more aggressively? I, I'm pretty sure, and I'm not a lawyer, but first degree murder, targeting. it's intentional and premeditated. What's premeditated? You planned to do it, uh -huh. and then you did it. Brain. Whereas second degree murder, you just did it. What about third degree murder? There's all kinds of different things. There's a lot. Like if you drive drunk and kill somebody, that can be second degree murder. Because you killed somebody, you didn't set out to kill somebody, but you did. not And you're drunk, right? Right. You're not so the laws are very specific about that, how it happened and what happened. But murder is you're killing another person. That's the kind of life we're protecting. That doesn't mean, you know, you killed a cow so you can have a hamburger. It doesn't mean, you know, you squashed a bug because you don't like bugs. That's, that's different. You don't kill people. All right? Uh, let's look at that story in the Bible. Genesis 4, 1 to 8. It's on page 3. Uh, page 3? Yeah. All right. What about your opinion quiz? That's the very end. That's your closing You see prayer. number 14? That's oh. the quiz. Right before the closing prayer. Which is yours? Page 3. I mean, that's shocking. Is the first. Do you know that the second sin in the Bible is murder? What was the first sin? Deceiving. Lying. Lying. Going against God. Because Not believing in one God. Oh. <laughs> Not believing in one God. <laughs> what was the rule? There was only one rule at the beginning. Do not eat the fruit. Yeah, God said you can eat anything you want, but don't eat the fruit from that tree in the garden. Because if you do, you will die. Who is the first person left to be murdered? We're going to read about it right now. Oh. I don't know. Oh. Genesis chapter 4. What page? Three. Three. Page three. <laughs> She's laughing at me. I know. Because I'm trying to be entertaining and it's working. Yeah. I need to get those little people. Right? They're so cute. Look, I can get one to sit on my book. You can probably get them all to sit on your book. No, I got one. I'm just going to go find these around in my neighborhood and see what happens. Look how cute it is. Start it's leaving them in drinks around the house. Uh -huh. See if anybody <laughs> Okay. Now Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have gotten a man with the help of the Lord. And again, she bore his brother Abel. So they had two kids. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, and Cain a worker of the ground. I heard and, the story. Pardon me? I heard about the story. Yeah. In the course of time, Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground. And Abel also brought the first part of his flock and their fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering, but for Cain and his offering, he had no regard. So Cain was very angry, and his face fell. The Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is for you, but you must rule over it. Cain spoke to Abel, his brother. And when they were in the field, Cain rose up against his brother Abel and killed him. All right, now you guys are brothers. So, just imagine you're these guys, okay? So Landon raises uh, cattle, and Chandler, he's got a farm, he grows food, and each of you brings an offering to the Lord, so you kill one of your animals, you bring it as an offering to the Lord, you gather up a basket full of corn, you bring it to the Lord, God says, your offering is acceptable, yours is not. Chandler gets really, really angry. I'm not a God, he gets mad at Landon. And takes him out of the field and kills him. How do you think he did it? How do you think he killed him? Stabbed him. Well, seeing how he's a farmer, Strangle he probably him. had a lot of shirts. Oh, Strangle maybe. Strangled him. Strangled him. Oh, I don't think it's 
Can I go, like, bare hands? Mm. That would take too long, though, he, and he would be able to fight back. No. What about yeah. a big, big rock? Big rock. Yeah, yeah, that, like, that would work. Not more conscious. Five seconds of holding his neck tight and dead. Sorry. Pitchfork to the neck and bleed out, right? Wait, why are you talking about all these weapons? So <laughs> weird. Anyway, that, that's his, this is after they left the Garden of Eden. They, he killed his brother. He was like the first two brothers, and he killed them. That's messed up. Yeah. Well, that's murder when you take another life. Maybe he was hungry. <laughs> you that's, say maybe he was hungry? No. That's why God said, look, you got to get your anger under control because sin will control you. If you don't control it, he let sin control him, and he killed his brother. That's just messed up what she said. I think about killing somebody, you can't take it back. Unless you just go back in time. Unless you have not Unless you go back, go back in time, or, yeah, you get him to the hospital and they sew his head back on or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think see people's lives all the time. We're probably not like that. Wait, I mean, if you steal something, you can get it back. If you uh, hurt somebody's feelings, you can apologize. You know, if you. Anyway. Murder, the intentional taking of somebody's life. Okay, what is abortion? Um, oh, I'm on it. It's on the page. I'm on page 22. Isn't it killing a fetus? Like, What's some, a fetus? Um, a baby that does not have it been born yet. Right. It's on page 500. Abortion is when you kill a baby that has not been born yet. Are you allowed to do that? Um, no. I don't. That's bad. I don't like it. I don't That's like basically murder. Just give the baby away after you. That's 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 well, legally, you can do it. And there's always there's laws about these things, but in the United States, legally, you can kill an unborn baby. It's murder. It's a lot of baby. If you don't want to, I agree. I agree that you at should, least do it for adoption because there's no there's people that who can't give birth. How do you know patients. that a baby is alive? Heartbeat. Heartbeat. Heartbeat? When is the heartbeat? When can you first detect the heartbeat? It was like 15 weeks or something. It's actually six, six weeks. Yeah, six. Oh, that's even, six lo- that's even worse. Yeah, so you can actually, isn't that amazing? I have this. You I'm can healthy. see and the heart beating of an unborn child at six weeks. You know how big a, a six week old child is? Like a, like a jelly bean. Holy it's really small. And it's already a person. I, I didn't know that. Actually, do you know that? You know what conception is, right? No. Yes? No. Conception is when the cell from the male, the cell from the female are together and there's a new person. Sperm and the egg. Oh. Right. At that moment, the DNA for that new person is all formed. So everything you're going to be is in the DNA of that new person. What, you know, the color hair you'll have is already determined, the color eyes you'll have, how tall you'll be, your, your fingerprints, everything. So life begins at conception. You're already a person in God's eyes. So how do you know that unborn babies are important to God? Because God made them. Because what? God made them. Yeah. Yes. God I, made us. Uh, did you look at that, Psalm 139? No. It's on page 520. It is on page 522. Whoa. It's a great, it's a great verse. I put basically the right to it. I put two pages off. Yeah, that's, that's where it actually says, and the psalmist is talking to God, on page 522. It's a Psalm 139, verse 13. You formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written every one of them, the days that were formed for me. So even before you were born, God knew you. God knew all about you. He knew what your life would be. You are very important to him. Every life is very important to God. So we do not believe that abortion is right. That's against the fifth commandment, against life. Having said that, what about the life of a woman who gets pregnant and doesn't want to be pregnant? Or can't, doesn't have the means to raise a child? Or doesn't marry or anything? Just How do we help 
people who might be thinking about having an abortion because they don't want to have a baby. You convince them not to have an abortion, then they can have a baby. Then they can give it to a family who's willing to love the baby. Adoption. Or we can help support moms raise their kids. A little money to help. Yeah, sometimes they need money to help or a place to live. I mean, it happens. People get pregnant all the time and they're not married. And it's hard. That's a big responsibility. It's a lot of expense. It's at least an 18 year commitment when you have a child. You gotta take care of them for that time. We all need help. So, abortion's wrong, but it's also, we also care about the lives of the mothers. That's very, very important. Aren't I trying to pull out this, um, this bottle burst actually backs up some of the science. Um, when you look close at DNA, it looks like someone actually knitted it. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so it's like this, and think about it. They didn't have technology at the time to know that's, that's real. So it's not like they're like, oh, so let's just try to lie to them. That's how you know that God is real. I'm going to put that on a quiz sometime. It'll be a true or false question. God knows how to knit. Is it true or false? <laughs> so absolutely. Yes. That is great. That's a great point, Chandler. Okay, what's euthanasia? It's on oh euthanasia, isn't it on Oh I forgot that. Oh isn't wait, it oh like, it's a peaceful it's a way to uh, a peaceful way to kill someone that suffered. From yeah. Sometimes we call it mercy killing. Basically like when your dog gets really sick and you really can't do anything to help get better. Yeah. You can put them down. That's euthanasia. It's mercy killing. Is it okay to do that for a person? Uh, yes, yeah. when they're suffering. Well, like, yeah, they, if they're suffering like, really, really bad. Actually, it's against the law to do that. Really? You, yeah, you, yeah. Can't, you can't give somebody a lethal injection to kill them. Yeah. You can. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. you'll be in big trouble. Oh. Oh. Now, there are, I think there are some states where it's like called like, physician like, assisted suicide. And you can choose. But that's 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 different. I thought that's, I thought they can like I thought like if the family like let's say the person in a coma and they're basically suffering and there's nothing they can do. I thought it's the family's truth that they can you know. No, you you cannot cause that person to die. Oh. You can allow them to die, like if they're on a breathing machine or like a, a feeding tube or something like that, and the doctor says this person is never going to recover. Uh, you may. Sometimes allow that person to die because they're not going to get better. It's a tough decision, but sometimes it is. But you cannot just inject them with uh -huh. medicine and put them out of their misery. We don't do that. That's basically killing. So um, the Bible talks about that too. Proverbs thirty-one eight. I think there are some countries in the world where euthanasia is legal. I think in the Netherlands really? and maybe Belgium. Yeah. I'll read it from Europe. It's on page 552. 552. This is the book of Proverbs. And so it's like a book filled with wisdom. It says, Open your mouth for the mute, for the rights of all who are destitute. Uh, open your mouth, judge righteously, defend the rights of the poor and the needy. When somebody is dying or somebody is sick or somebody needs care, we are supposed to take care of them, not get rid of them. It's hard, but their lives are important. They're, they're, you're just as important at the end of your life as you are at the beginning of your life. Have you ever had like, a really old grandparent who needed like nursing home care or... They, they needed a lot of care at home? Uh, my wife. Your grandmother. I mean, she fell and she had surgeries and she was in bad shape for a while. Needed a lot of care. But she's a very special person to you. So you, we take care of each other. That's, that's, um, that's part of what it, what it is. And sometimes, uh, you know, what about if somebody, you know what Alzheimer's is or dementia? Isn't that where they forget stuff? Yeah, they forget who you are or they forget who they are. Or they forget how to take care of themselves. I know. It's hard. It's really hard when your mind goes bad like that. But it happens. Manslaughter is when you accidentally kill somebody. Now, how can you accidentally kill somebody? Like when you're 
of driving, and someone just like comes out of nowhere. And You're not even supposed to be driving, Isabel. Well, who said I was driving? Oh, okay. I thought you were talking. I know, I just okay. <laughs> Personal experience. It's like I was driving and I hit somebody. How else could you kill somebody accidentally? When you mean you're like joking around or something like. Like, let's say you're like swimming, you're like playing, like having fun with them until you realize they're actually stuck and now they're drowning. Oh, okay. Or, um, ever hear stories of somebody who's messing around with a gun and they didn't know it's loaded? Yeah. Oh. And shot somebody? Yeah. Yeah. I have a personal experience with that. Really? You shot somebody? No, I didn't okay. shoot somebody. My brother, not my and Tyler, we were, I was trying to figure out a spot or something. We were playing around, he was messing around with his little BB gun. And I left Lily at the door in time because he, he thought there was no bullets in it. Lay, lay, lay around me. He shot the gun at you? Yeah. He, he didn't think there were no bullets in it. Luckily, there was a BB gun and I shut the door in time. Whew. Like, I'm not, there was still like a lock on the door after. <laughs> yeah, he got yelled at straight after. I can imagine he got yelled at a lot. Me? No. no Tyler. Tyler. You're, you're the only one that told a BB gun. I forgot. How? There's a, I have some friends here at church. They have a, a cousin. He lives in Texas, and he and his friends were messing around with a gun, and they didn't know it was loaded. And he actually shot himself. It, like, went through his abdomen into his back. It, like, messed up his hand, and it was really bad. Leviticus, we're just going to read a little bit of this. Oh, Leviticus I just passed 19, it. 1 to 6. Oh, it's on page 97. I just passed it. 97? Got it. Yeah. This letter is tough because can you imagine what it would feel like to accidentally kill somebody? Did that happen? Like someone? It, it happens was, a lot. It was a no. It was for a movie, and it. it was oh yeah, it just happened. Movie. Alec Baldwin. It was a, a like a prop, and it was supposed to be safe, and they so they thought it was safe, so we pointed it at the camera and shot. He shot the cameraman, killed him, or her. It was a her. Okay. Or um, I know somebody who was driving and they didn't see somebody, it was like nighttime and somebody was on the road. They didn't see him and they hit him and killed him. Imagine how bad you would feel. That's really blood, that's really blood on your hands. Blood on your car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, time. You would, you would feel really bad about that for a really long time. You'd probably be traumatized. Yeah, I think so. PTSD. Yeah, that's You probably would never want to have a car. Yeah, this is 19, 1 to 6. Um, that's not even... That's not even the right passage. It anyway. printed the wrong passage? Yes, yeah, so I must have written the wrong thing down. Where's the... Did you just curse? No. No. What did you hear me say? What are you saying? A beaver down? That's not a curse word. <laughs> I know what she's saying. I did not say that. Oh, it's in here. They do have laws against unintentional death, but it's not in chapter 19. Anyway, that was some of the Old Testament laws. Uh, basically, you had to make restitution. Like if you accidentally killed somebody, you had to make payment to make up for that person's presence in the family. Next one, suicide. What's suicide? Taking what your own life. Is it okay to take your own life? No. no. Why not? Because it's killing someone. Yeah, it's killing it's you. Murder. It's killing you. Why do you think somebody would want to kill themselves? Depression. Depression. They hate life. Um, Hating life? Yeah. I feel like everyone hates them. Or feel like they're not worthy. I, I had to do a, um, a funeral service for a young man who's 24 years old. And um, his, like his, he was a police officer. And his, one of his best friends got shot and killed on duty. And then his fiance broke up with him. And then something happened where he got fired from his job. And so sitting in the parking lot, he just got drunk and shot himself, killed himself. Just like that. You know, all these bad things happened at the same time. And it was so sad because he had so many friends and family who would have been there to help him if he had just reached out to them. But he thought he didn't have any other answers. What's the worst part about killing yourself? You're killing God's gift. No, can't come back. True. I think even worse than that is all the people you left behind. 
Because now they're going to miss you. Everybody feels like, I wish I had done something. I wish I had said something. I wish I could have helped them. Everybody feels guilty. Um, there's only two people we know of who committed suicide in the Bible. Maybe yes. it's not one. Anyway, there's just two famous ones. Do you know who they were? Who committed suicide in the Bible? Oh. I'm sure you can think about it. Say it, but at the same time, I want to say I'm wrong. Well, say it, just guess it. I feel like I say I feel bad, and I feel like, like, like it's bad, like it's bad and wrong. But if it's right, I'll give you a prize from the box. Jesus? No, Jesus. What the? Uh, so, who, see, killed, I you. who killed Jesus? No one. That's not true. Yeah, Jesus who killed him? Who, who killed him? Oh, Peter. Wait, oh, no one thought he came back after. He did, but who killed him? Who nailed him to the cross? Oh, that's not Jesus. Oh. No, it's yeah. not. But then he's still alive because he came back and left the tomb. He did come back from the dead, but he did die. Pontius so Pilate, who uh, killed him? Pontius Pilate? Well, Pilate gave the order for his execution, so I guess that would count. And the Roman soldiers drove the nails in his hands and they crucified him. But the Jewish people, they're the ones who told Pilate to crucify him. So the Jewish people and the Romans killed Jesus. Anyway. One of them is King Saul in the Old Testament. He was the first king of Israel. And he was losing a military battle really, really badly. And what happens when the enemy army captures the king? They torture them. Right. So instead of that, he, he fell on his sword and killed himself. Uh, he fell on it? Like he yeah, like you put it on the ground point up and just fall down on it. Huh, are you going to do that? See, like, I am never going to do that. No, I'm saying, like, I'm saying, will God allow that if you're going to get tortured to death anyway? Like, will he I don't know. I don't know. I would say no. I think like, you have to be about to crash in a pretty bad mental. mental state of mind to kill yourself. Oh. Bless you. Thank you. I should have said this nicely. Like, <laughs> you know who's the other person in the Bible? You know who Judas was? Oh. What did Judas do? Wait, no, what did know. Judas do? I'm not the wrong person. Ow. So the, the chief priests want to get their hands on Jesus, but they can't arrest him publicly because Jesus is too popular. So they got to find somebody to, to show them where Jesus is. He was the person in the night. Judas. Was... Judas says, I'll show you where he is for 30 pieces of silver. That Bro, much? that's was that a lot. That, a lot. that was like, oh, it wasn't. That would be maybe a month's wages. Well, how much well, is that? Well, yeah, maybe thirty. All right, you make you're working forty hours a week. Let's say you're making minimum wage that's six hundred dollars. Four weeks that's um, twenty four hundred dollars. Here it goes. Money basically that's only about a month's worth over someone who could have saved them. <laughs> And now he's he's well, he, he took them. When Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane praying, Judas took the army there. They arrested Jesus and then they crucified him. And when that happened, Jesus went out and he hung himself. Uh, so he lied? No, he hung himself. He died. He killed himself. He tied a rope around his neck, wrap it over the end of the tree, and you break your neck and suffocate yourself. Why? Because he was so upset, and he didn't. He, when they, he saw what they did to Jesus, he oh, couldn't take it. He was arrested, so he felt bad. Killed himself. Yeah, suicide. It's you. Life. Your life is important. If you ever think you might want to kill yourself, don't. You ask somebody. Talk to somebody. What if you were to hear somebody you know say, "I'm going to kill myself." What would you do? Oh, talk not to them. I'd talk to them. I'd call the police. No. Why? Somebody once told me, a counselor, here's how you know if somebody is really serious. You ask them, do you have a plan? Now, if somebody doesn't have a plan, they're not serious. They're not, not serious. really that. They still need to talk to somebody. But if they say they have a plan, they really need to talk to somebody. You call the suicide hotline. Call anybody. They need help. No. Why would you call the police yeah. hotline? Never Why take not? that lightly. They just ask me why. If you think somebody's going to hurt themselves, the police can do something. Exactly. They can be on top. You know what that's called, Landon? That's what, that's what a faker act is. 
If somebody is going to hurt themselves, if they're going to kill themselves, the police can take them to the hospital and admit them for mental evaluation and get them help. A sane asylum? No, it's, they don't have the sane asylums anymore. They don't? No. You watch too many movies. Aww. What? You want to go to an insane asylum? Yeah. Why? No, no, no. To, to just see the people. Just to see, I don't want to exactly be a, like in it. You want to go into a place that's filled with nothing but extremely crazy people? Yes. I want to be friends with some of them. You want to be friends with them? Yeah. You can trust them? Yeah. Did you ever watch the, any episodes read? of Gotham? No. On, uh, I forget what it was on. Anyway, it's like question. an insane asylum, and that's where all the criminals that uh, where Batman's enemies came from. They were like, they did weird things, and then there they came out, they were like arch enemies. I have several questions. I'm very confused and concerned of why you want to go see those people. <laughs> Maybe she wants to help them. To make no, friends. I, I, yeah, I want to be friends with them. I don't know, they seem cool. Then I could be crazy. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I think he needs to go to a sane asylum. Hey, what's capital punishment? Oh, oh isn't oh. it like where the government kills you or something like that? Which should not be allowed. Which you don't do it anymore. Actually, uh, no, it's yeah. very rare. They do it. They still do it? It's very rare. It shouldn't be allowed. It's like for the worst of the worst people. Well, I think you were right. The government is the one with the authority to carry out capital punishment. This is the death penalty. Okay, what do you have to do to get the death penalty? Something really, really, really bad, like kill. Um, do you have to like kill at least like thirty people or something? No, first degree murder. It depends on the state and oh. the state laws. First degree murder, they can sentence you to death, or they can sentence you to life in prison. It depends on what the jury and the judge say. But is the death penalty legal in Florida right now? I no, no. I don't know. Can I Google it? How did they, how did they do what is how does the how did Florida used to do the death penalty? Electric chair? Yeah, electric chair. Right. How else what they did? Um, do? put something in your body to kill you quickly, right? Oh yeah, I said. Yeah, um the gas chamber. Yeah, you used to have gas chambers. There was the gas place. chambers? Torture? No, they didn't torture. Some uh, people. How west they used to hang people? Hanging. Hocus pocus. Hocus pocus. No. Were they hanging three witches? Oh, oh, yes. They also used uh, more fire. They used to have a firing squad. You know what that is? A bunch of people who pew 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 Right, they hold one of the guns and they all fire the many. Um, what they do in um, in, in France, in like the 17th century? Watch out for the next I have you do that. Um, they, what is his name? I, it was a thing, they and it had a giant off. knife, and they dropped it down they and they threw it on the table there. It's a guillotine. The new star See, the blade comes down, and your head gets tucked off and goes into a basket. Did they know how to run these until people left? Say that again? They used to tickle people to death. Tickle people to death? Yeah. Where? In Rome. I've never heard of that before. They even, they even used something called, I forget which country used this, but it was something called, I think it was called the Iron Bowl, bowl or Copper Bowl. Oh, that's and different. They, yeah, and they put someone inside, like a, a bowl, and they like, put a fire underneath it, and it starts heating up. And, like, it cooks them a lot. Yeah. Yep. There's a lot of weird ways to kill people. Um, I, I, I can't remember if the death penalty is still around. Anyway, what do you think? I mean, in the Bible, in the Old Testament law, uh, there were a number of things for which you could have the death penalty. Didn't Jesus get the death penalty? He did. Crucifixion was death penalty. The uh, Exodus 21-12, whoever strikes a man so that he dies shall be put to death. And they would stone people to death. They would throw rocks at them until they were dead. Well, how do you tie them to something, though? Like, how do you tie them to something? Wow. How would you surround them? See, the community did it. You didn't do it yourself. The whole community did it. Yeah, 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 the whole community did
Uh, if you were guilty of an offense, they would all grab big rocks. You're in the middle, throw them at you. Why are you laughing about that? Hey, are you sure? Are you sure you don't need to go to one? Insane asylum? Yeah. I can't like, fight. You can start a lot while someone being killed by Florida. Anyway, Washington. what do you think? Is the death penalty something good or bad? Good. Bad. bad. Well, is it good or bad? Well, it's certainly not good. The thing to remember is the government has the authority. The government should have laws in place to make sure they're doing it right, punish the right person. You know, you want to be absolutely sure because you can't take that back. Some people think uh, it's not humane to do that. Some people think, you know, if somebody killed your dad intentionally, they should get killed. You might feel like they deserve the death penalty. I don't But some people have forgiven folks who have done that. It's also like it's also depends on the situation. Like if someone like. Like this school shooting, then technically it should be on death penalty, but if someone only did one bad thing, then they should have done that. But what if they had the school shooting with a different person? Well, I mean, they, they didn't. That would not be murder. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not murder. That would be assault with a deadly weapon. Yeah, they should have been arrested. Wait, assault? Yeah, they'd still be arrested. But they they'd still be assault. in jail, but they should have been on death penalty. So they could kill it. The if I shoot at you and like miss, that's assault. That's attempted murder. Yeah. There's um, laws against that. For real? Oh yeah. <laughs> There's laws against that. Imagine knowing you, know, you missed. There are yeah, laws for I'm alive. Wait. We're all laughing about that. And they miss, and you say, "Ha, I'm alive." And then they, and then they shoot again. <laughs> 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 You're dead. Not gonna lie. I know some people in uh, school would probably do that. I would do that. Okay. I would do that. Okay. Ha, miss me. Okay, fifth commandment, you shall not murder. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not... For fourth commandment? Yeah, fifth commandment. That's fifth. So that we do not... Kill! Kill! Kill. Um, not hurt or harm our neighbor in his body, but help and support him for his sin. Okay, they read this applies <laughs> not just to murder, but to hurting somebody physically. We're not supposed to hurt people physically. That's bad. What are some of the ways that you hurt yourself? Um, when you doubt yourself. Eating bad food. Wait. Yourself. What? Well, that's not survival. Doubt yourself. <sighs> we do what do you say? Doubt. Like, oh, oh. So doubt. No, I'm talking about physical health. Oh, physical health. Oh. We run into walls on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> do okay. the night thing. <laughs> Running into walls. Don't do that. He's just so satisfied now with a pencil. You're not hurting yourself, you just... Yeah, no, I'm saying if people do that with a knife, though. I'm so good at it, though. Yeah, I would, I would stick with the pencil eraser for you. Yeah, I will. Thank you. What's that now? For an umbrella. Oh, yeah, the umbrellas. <laughs> <sighs> what about uh, smoking? Yes. That's harm. Drugs? Baby. Harm. Baby. Harm. Eating a bunch of junk food, you know, not taking care of yourself. <sighs> but junk food is so good. You got to yeah, do don't eat so much. Just eat a little bit. Yeah, not all the time. What's your favorite junk food? French fries. French fries. That's not junk food. Yes, that it is. Yes, it is. It's salt. Oh, it's so, so good. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> salt is horrible. It can, like, there's salt in everything. No. no. Not water. How do you hurt others mm -hmm. physically? Punching Poisoning them. them. Killing them. Whoa. Hitting them. Whoa. You don't kill people. No, it's an example. <laughs> Whoa, you know that? Uh oh, uh, I'm scooting away. Poisoning them, putting them on the train, cutting them, um, sabotaging their food, tripping them down the stairs, starting off. You do all this at school or something? You go to a rough school, wow. No, it's an example. Oh, I don't want it. My friend was in a fight yesterday. Oh, fighting, punching. Did somebody break Don't worry, he said. Did they get hurt? <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, no. She had a black eye. What was the fight? Did she win? I don't know. She said she always said she wanted to be in a fight. Did she win? She wanted to be in a fight? Yeah. She lost. Yeah. She wanted to be in a fight. Yeah, she lost. She, 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 she was really strong, but she lost. You, you she lost to a seventh grader. Like, unless you're going to like, learn how to box or something, you don't want to be in a fight. You don't, you don't want to be in a fight, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you're going to fight. I can beat Landon. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can beat Landon and what? Yeah. yeah. You guys fight? No, oh, you guys a little bit. Fight to the death. We'll a little bit. We argue, and sometimes we will fight. 
while you browse, are you supposed to find it? Exactly. Oh, so it's okay? No. No. We okay. don't have a neighbor in his body, but help and protect them. So what are some lives that need help and protection around us? People. Uh, <laughs> people, <laughs> yes, people's good. What kind of people? People who don't have money or okay. homeless. Or sick. Less. The poor, the homeless, the sick. You know, people need help. Mentally not stable house. people, physically not stable people. Um, Did you say physically nasty people? <laughs> physically <laughs> not stable. Oh, physically unstable. You mean like people in the insane asylum? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Me, I'm not in the insane they asylum. Need, yes. You need so, work that animal, animals. Like animals. That. Do you know animals. the sad thing? No, we're talking about people. Oh, yeah. They used to have insane asylums. They used to have mental hospitals. They closed them down. A lot of the homeless people on the street used to get help in places like that. That's why they're on the street, because mentally they can't get a job, they can't keep the job, they need help. A lot of people need our help. But they don't have any stay on anymore, which is stupid. They veterans. Stay. A lot of veterans come back and they need help. They got busy they have like They've seen combat, they kill people, PTSD, they need help. Um, so <gasps> You have what you have sometimes so you can help other people. Questions about the Fifth Commandment? Okay, quiz number two. I don't like all the this one. Quiz number two. There are six true and false answers. Easy dubs. There are Easy dubs. four fill in the royale. So ready, set, go. begin. No, oh, sorry. Just answer the question. So sorry, false. Not, no. You can to a T or an F. You can write true or false. I wrote no. Instead of that. Oh, that's wrong. Okay, if you want to write yes or no, I will give you credit. If you write maybe, I will not give you credit. Oh, can I write down sometimes? No. No. True or false, and then fill in the blanks. So there are prizes at stake. Oh, there. no, I know this, but I got it. It's, no. We'll do five prizes for first through fifth place. I don't know how to spell it. If you don't spell it right, is that not wrong? If we can tell what the word is, we'll give you credit. Gotcha. Because I If you just spell it so badly that nobody can read it, all right. Then I'm pretty sure I spelled that wrong. All right. Okay, okay, only, only, only one more to answer, Me too. and I forgot. What word would you spell? I'm on the Me second too. fill in blank. Me too. Awesome. C H A N D L A R. Oh, nuts. <laughs> oh. You know, I was actually thinking about it, you know? Uh, we had a lot of fun in it. This is more fun than ice cream Yeah, it is. It's but, way more fun. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> if you get the seventh one wrong, then you what, would get Oh, eight. wait, wait. What if we get the eighth one? Okay, I'm stuck on Can I say Jesus? I thought Jesus. The, 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 he said it. You're, you're it doesn't make sense, Jesus. but I don't care. Which one is it? Is it the second villain? Yeah. That's it. It is a cave no. to Jesus to tell the story. What about you all right? Are you ready right done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. right. No. Ready? Oh, a little more time for Ava. No. You should You should. Stop. We're going to pass our paper with one person to the left, left. this time. The left. The left. The left. Yo, read mine. Oh, no. Come on, finish up, Ava. You got it. You got this. What? You got this, kiddo. I know you do. Oh, that is really good. Cotton That's candy true. has been what? proven to That's increase true. your IQ. Cotton candy? <gasps> no, cotton, cotton candy, candy corn. Oh, I need mean that. Me you had cotton candy today? Yeah. Oh, I love Where cotton candy. candy. My does home? Cotton candy count as a vegetable? Yes. Huh? Wait, what do you mean? It's not a vegetable because of their corn chips. Wait, that means I eat a lot of vegetables. No, but See, what do you make cotton candy out of? French fries? Oh, ketchup is a salad. One, it was a fruit and one's a vegetable. See, a watermelon is a vegetable. It tastes like, oh, never mind. That's the wrong thing. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, let's not get down that path. <laughs> 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 no, no, it's something that's really good. We'll talk about that 
another day. We should have pork pies for a snack one day. Wait till we talk about we the sixth what? commandment. Ah, that's you done? Dogs. Has that's one to the, the left. Here we go. Okay. I Everybody got a paper to mark? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can we have pork pies for a snack? No. Okay. Sure. Not tomorrow. If it's wrong, they'll put an X. If it's right, put a check. I got this. Watch. Okay. Here we go. Number one. Number one. True or false? You can worship on any true. day of the week. True. 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 First one is true. Good true. job, Izzy. Number two. Your parents are the only authorities you have to honor. False. False. You got it right. Right. We should swear on a stack of Bibles so that people know False. The False. Truth. False. Good job again. Oh, thank you. Wait, that's not my one. We should honor our parents even after we True. 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 We should use God's name to pray, praise, and give thanks. True. 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 Oh, no. We can trust God. True. 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 Oh, no. Everybody should be six for six right now. Am I three six for six? Am I six for six? Am I six for six? Yeah. Let's go. Am I six for six? Yeah. Yeah. There six are light commandments. Ten. Ten. Ten commandments. Yay. Did you get that one wrong? Who said Jesus too? <laughs> we have the same type of answer, but different. We, we it's to okay to blank to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I'm the not I wrong. I, I, I swear. Jesus, I swear. That's right. Oh, you, she did a win. You can swear to tell the truth in a court of law. Oh, wait, that's a good Because remember, the God gives authority to the government, <laughs> and so it's okay to do it there. You okay, then? Yeah. No. <laughs> what is this? We, all, wrong. we often worship on Sunday because that is the G day Jesus rose, rose from Hold the dead. Hold on, does rise, mean, does, that, does rise mean you're correct, right? I'll give you credit for rise. Okay, but I said rise. He said rise. The fourth commandment tells us to obey. Honor. Honor. Yes! 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 Good job, Izzy. You got one thing. Oh, I was doing on this paper. That's fine. <laughs> I'm slow. Okay, here we go. Number five. Good job. You got the papers four, back. What do you score? Three, Oh, okay. Put a number at the bottom of the page. Big Nine out of ten, Izzy. Good four, job, five, Izzy. Six, Nine out of ten. Here's your grade. Thank you. You got eight. Well, hopefully, I did great. Who got all ten right? You got eighty. I got nine out of ten too. You didn't put a number up. You got a ten? Yep. Woo! I got nine out of ten. I got nine out of ten. You got nine, 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 nine. Nine. All right, you get first choice on the prizes. Can I get second this on? Every team have four grabs here. Huh? Wait, we have the rock versus rock nine. No. I don't That's not how that oh, works. Oh, the orca goes, okay. Now you all Wait, had... That was... Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's right. Great job. You need those aquatic metals. Rock. No. All right, now you have to do it with him. <sighs> oh, you get the next one, okay. Wait, we have the rock versus for nine. Yeah, Yes. Why are you gonna always pick scissors? Did you win? Yeah. Yes. Um. You got the Jesus is my jam? No. I got the headphones. <laughs> wow. Stars. Respectful. Okay. And I have the croissant. Oh, open. Yes. Let's Good go. Choice. I got a croissant. Oh, I'm gonna put it on my forehead. Alright, we got Let's like go. one minute left to go. go. Guys, I'm croissant. Your homework page, we're doing two commandments next time. There's no class next week. Oh, why? why? Because I'm going to be out of town. So next class is November 17th. That's we're going to do the 6th and the 7th commandments. I can do that. I got you. We're going to talk about sex. We're going to talk about stealing. Okay. Wait, is it, is it not the weekend of Thanksgiving too? Like the no. Act? Thanksgiving no. is the week after that. Do we have a church that week too? Okay. No. Okay. I mean, there's church every Sunday. Well, yeah, but the like, There is church. I will be here for Sunday, but I won't be here for Wednesday. All right. So don't forget your homework. I'll be you do it. All right, and Landon, you've got the closing prayer. I can't wait to hear it. Okay, okay that's, that's good. Here we go. You ready? Do it. Dear God. I'm not saying amazing because that's boring. Wow. Just tell God it's not boring. You are not boring. I am sorry for not listening in school. I need forgiveness for not listening in school. <laughs> I 
Thank you. What does that mean? I'm sorry. That means what, you, what are you thankful for? What am I thankful for? I am thankful for that Doritos are vegetables because I eat a lot of those. And I hope you can help me get A's and B's this quarter. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Good job, okay. guys. Excellent quiz. Wow. Well, I'll trade my croissant. Ava? Okay. And